you will be shocked what a southeastern governor have just done that is causing lots of reactions as Nigerians are saying, is it being for real? Are the southeastern governors, are they being serious with the life of the people who has entrusted them with the opportunity to be leaders over them? With all that is going on, you know what a Boeing state governor is saying? He's asking that God, God Almighty, should bless Nigeria in 2023 with another Buhari. Nigerians have since then, in fact, if you say something, don't catch fire in a small matter. Nigerians are saying, is this man okay? Is everything all right with him? Or what is he really talking about? With all that is happening, airborne state, even at the heat of everything that is going on, how people were mercilessly killed because he not consign them. You see, not touching brother, not touching sister, and not touching niece, and not touching nephew, not touching papa, not touching mama. You know the things with Nigerian government, yeah? If it does not touch them, they don't feel what the people feel. They don't, they don't have what we call sympathy, empathy, understanding with the other person, being in that person's shoe or if, shoes or even just imagining or, you know, trying to uh, understand what the person may be going through. With all that is happening, kidnapping, headsmen activities. It's part of the southern governors who have said no more headsmen because, I mean, it's still saying God should bless, God will answer you and God will give you the Buhari, not Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Governor of a Boeing state has said something that has set the internet on fire. God will give us another Buhari come 2023, says a Boeing state governor. The governor of a Boeing state, David Umayi, has expressed the hope that someone with a good heart, just like Muhammad Buhari, will emerge as a replacement in 2023 when his tenure is done. This is even as he noted that it is too early to engage in the politics of 2023 as he observed that it is a distance time away. The governor who failed questions from correspondents after a visit to President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja on Monday mm -hmm. also noted that members of different political parties from the Southeast are working within their party to ensure that they concur with the presidential ticket to the region. According to Ask Whether Southeast Leaders Are Working to Get the Main Political Parties to Zone Their Presidency to the Zone, he said, well, for me, I am very much eager in completing my project, first of all. This was the, you see, eh, Nigerian politicians, not they believe them more. Have you heard of the word called Two-Face? Not Two-Face, DBL. That is a stage name as a performer, okay? This was the reason he gave Nigerians. By the way, we are not rooting for either PDP or APC. They are all the same thing. So we're not rooting for any of them. Please don't get it twisted, okay? Thank you. This was the reason he told Nigerians why he was leaving PDP for APC. He said now, he's saying now that he's not concerned who becomes Nigerian president, that he's consigned on completing his projects he has started in his state. Asked whether Southeast leaders were working together to ensure the political parties in the zone produce. He said, well, for me, I'm not very consigned about that. My project now I am looking forward to is how to complete my tenure in the remaining one year, which is May 29, 2020. And I think, it's a I think it's the same thing for other governors in the Southeast and by extension, governors of APC. My position about what you ask is that our people that are, that are in pol these political parties are making effort in selling the need for a Southeastern and to produce the next president. But whatever happened, we take it like that. But I think that I think both governor and Mr. President should not be distanced away. When the elections are done and won, it shall it should be govern it should be governance. That's the most important thing. No matter who becomes the president, governance, good governance is the main thing. So this is a boy state governor changing his mouth, eh? From uh, Peter to Paul. The same person when he tell everybody, say we say, eh, are they go what what are they go do now beside they go APC? So you see what is going on right now. You see, once they finish meeting Buhari, you know that thing called good face. And good face. Where a man is seeking favor. I just want to state it out there very clearly, okay? 
it's okay to seek the favor of a man. Don't get me wrong. I'm not um, I'm not taking it sarcastically. And I'm not being sarcastic about it. I'm very honest. God says my heart. It's okay to desire the favor of a man. But should I tell you one thing? Do you know there is one word that is constant in life? It's called change. Have you seen a man? Man. Could be man or woman. Just the term. Man. If you offend them, he don't promise heaven and earth say he will help you. But because of that thing when you do, he go change your mind. If you if if you not do what he wants, he go change your mind. But you they see the one that they call God Almighty. It does not matter what you do. If you find favor with him, eh? If you say he go help you, he go help you. So all these things when they talk, say eh, people they go seek Buhari favor. People they go meet Buhari, whether I do bad, they do good, they just they stay with him. Ain't not they right, so. In no day right at all. And that's why we must tell ourselves the truth. So many people are deceiving people. Especially politicians in this country. And it's so sad. Because a lot of people believe, you know, stay with them. And are really, you know, are really, are really believing that they will, they will come true. But sadly, they keep failing and failing and failing because of personal ambition. It's sad, really. A boy state governor is neither here nor there. We don't know where he's standing. Went ahead to say God should give us somebody like Buhari. Is you, your family, your generation. You see the name Buhari. That's why we follow you people. Not Nigerians. You just see people there inside fire. You see me they continue to there inside that fire. Because that fire will favor you. He has one more tenor in office. Probably is looking forward to becoming a senator. I don't know. You know these things. They have a way. When you scratch my back, I scratch your back. In respect of who is affected, they don't really care. So when you see the whole thing, we know that um, all you see is not there, all there is. In politics, especially in Nigeria, our God will help us. We really need good leadership. Not be people will be say, because of one thing or the other, they will just move. You know, the cities they will just move. They see that they will just move. Not be so, not be so at all. Not be so. Make I tell you the truth, not be so. If we continue to do that thing, then we will deceive ourselves and we will not go help ourselves tell the truth. And not correct at all, at all, at all. Anyway, now God will help us because the way the things they go, so now only God will really feel help us. Because people where you think or where you believe say they go, they go stand, they go do the right thing. Sadly, they're not. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.